Hello everyone, today I'm talking about patent formal OVAR imaging or PFO. A, P, a PFO is an anatomical variant of the atria septum in which there is incomplete fusion of the interface between the embryologic septum primum and secundum. This may result in intracardiac shunting. Despite anatomy or proximate, proximity and potential hemodynamic similarity, a PFO is considered distinct from Pathologic congenital cardiac defect. Example, atrial septal defect. It present is not more during embryological life. Persistent into adult life is common with an incident of 20 to 35 percent of the population. Shunting is functional rather than anatomic and typically require reversal of the physiologic gradient of interatria pressure, commonly absent without provo provocation. provocation. It is therefore most commonly referred to of interatrial septum as opposed to a pathologic defect. As the presence of a patent formant oval has been variably associated with a higher prevalence of the following acute ischemic stroke, reflex size and degree of shunting, may correlate with the risk. Closer may be selectively considered to meditate recurrent. Common associated term in younger population without conventional historical risk factor. Chronic migraine and age, platypnea, auto, they observe this barism associated with severe decompression sickness in diver intergamentary and neurologic manifestation common carcinoid heart disease. HLG, formation of the ost ostium secundum from confluent preparation in septum primum during cardiac development facilitate during of oxygenated blood from the interior vena cava preferentially to the left atrium and there after the systemic circulation, while the septum secundum grow to largely but incompletely overlap the secundum primum and overlie this communication, the orify remain open due to a physiologic gradient of pressure by to left facilitate by the high resistant pulmonary circulation and the jet of pressure generated by the orientation of the astasian valve. Reversal in the interatrial pressure gradient at birth result in a position of the septum primum and secundum. This may result in subsequent fusion, typically complete within the first year of life, 
and close the or the highly reliable persistence of this interatrial communication ranging from a subtle flap line orify to the widely patent long and serpentine tunnel. One method of classifying PFO reduced binary division into simple or complex with the latter characterized by one or more of the following characteristics. Defect anatomy, length exceeding 8 mm, long tunnel, right arterial orifice, degree of shunting, shunting plus present and rest, complete left arterial opacification with agitated saline administration, associated feature, arterial septal aneurysm, increased sickness of septum secundum, prominent astasian rib. In, in trantoraxic echography, we can see something like we, 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 we do or we use the window at the subcostal or apical window, which are commonly utilized with the apical core chamber, you typically consider of the address of dome is examined using 2B and color protocol and the presence of shunting process. Following the opacification of the right atrium with a positive contrast medium, the right to left shunt is diagnosed when any of the echogenic Contrast bubble appear in the left hand. From apparent, may favor intracardia over intracoronary shunting. Amount of contrast present sometimes used to semi quantify size. Shunting is depend upon the intraatrial pressure gradient, which may uh, augmented by manual science, alteration of intratoric pressure by performing a vasava manual or alteration of mechanical ventilation setting, manual abdominal compression, patient repositioning, alteration of this gradient is dynamically confirmed by a sip of convexity of the atrial septum toward the lower pressure chamber 20. Bubble crossing the mitral valve may result in high intensity tension signal deforming the velocity envelope visualize with Pavel Doppler. Correlation, this image a reminder about the correlation between development of atrium septum in A and about fetal in B and postnatal anatomy of the to show about the development of the or PFL 
this ultrasound image, we in A, we use subtotal view showing a 2.4 m m p f o and B, color doppler demonstrate left to right shine. So this ultrasound image also saw the flow of blood from the left to the right through the interarterial septum to release PFO. Capacity. We can find the abnormal communication of contrast material between the atrial through a channel like tunnel in the intra interatrial septum. A channel like tunnel alone is a normal variant of the fossa ovaries and is not diagnostic. On ECG gated CT4 type, two atrial septum have been described. Type 1. I has with no visible channel, no visible sub flap. Tie to a closed channel. Tie three, an open channel with no visible jet flow or contrast material between the two atria. Tie four, an open channel with a visual, visible jet flow or contrast material between the atria. Tie three and four, Comprise of PFO. So this is a chest CT of patient who come with chest pain. So we can see small plus of contrast from the left to right atrium across the Patent for a The second case of chest pain, soreness of breast, and subjective palpitation. We also can see small plus of contrast from left to right atrium, possibly through the small pattern for a month Contrast enhanced cardiac MRI, not a first line study, but may diagnosis by visual assessment of computation or sight signal time curve in the pulmonary vein and the left atrium. A patent permanent over can be differentiated from an address of effect because a PFO check the tunnel intra subtle force or with the presence of a flap valve on the left atrial side of the foreman. A case of a patient easy fatigability with episode of sinusitis in birth. This is the case of total Anomalous pulmonary venous return. We can see the right atrium and right ventricle are dilated. There is an atrial subtle effect of PFO resulting in right to left instead of draining into the left atrium or pulmonary vein drain into systemic venous circulation through the a vertical vein. So this case, PFO associated with other cardiac, uh, congenital cardiac disease. So on the left image, so right to left atrial jets, 
and on the right image, so pattern Perlman error is clearly evident. Treatment. How should I divide both surgical open and dead cuteness have been developed and are currently implemented in some center for PFO. Thank you.